Today, we're going to talk about density and buoyancy effect. Let's start from the basic. Do you know the basic unit of the universe? Basic unit of the universe? It is atom. Let's see the structure of the atom. There is proton and neutron in the middle and electron orbiting that. When proton and neutron get together, they are called nucleus. There are many types of atoms like hydrogen atom, oxygen atom and iron atom. Let's see the structure of the atoms, the different kinds of atoms. Let's start from the hydrogen atom. There is only one proton, no neutron and only one electron orbiting that. But oxygen atom has eight proton, eight electron and eight neutron. Comparing these two, these way high. Let's go to iron atom. Fe means iron. Let's see the molecules. When two hydrogen atoms get together, one hydrogen molecule forms. Similar to that, when two oxygen atoms get together, oxygen molecule forms. See this complex structure of the iron molecule. Do you know what is the formula of water molecule? It is one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atom get together, they form a water molecule. When they multiply, a water drop forms. This is how water forms. Do you know the states of matter? There is solid, liquid and gas. Let's start from the gas. The molecules are loosely coupled, but if you see the liquid, it is closer than the gas. But solid, we cannot change the shape. It is very tightly coupled. If it is cube means, we cannot change the shape as cone and etc. Let's see mass versus weight. What is mass? How many molecules does an object have? Is mass. Then what is weight? How much gravity is applied in the object, particular object? For example, if I drop this ball, it's going down. It is mean the gravity is applied on the object and it is going down. That is weight. For example, if I am 18 kilograms in earth and if I go to moon, I'll be just 3 kilograms. Why? Because the gravity, the earth and, and the moon has lesser gravity than, than the earth. That's why I am 18 in earth and 3 in moon. Are you clear with the basics? I hope so. Now let's talk about density and buoyancy effect. What is density? Measuring a mass in a volume. For example, I have two volumes. One is country A and country B. It is same size. And if you see the country A, it is more population of people. But in country B, there is less 
population of people. Comparing these two, this way, hi. Now I'm going to test your brain. I have two uh, same size cube and they're small cool inside. Can you guess which is less dense and which is more dense and why? In the left picture, there's more, more molecules and it is tightly coupled in the box. But in, in the right side, um, there's less molecules and they are loosely coupled. Comparing these two, this way, high. Now, let's talk about liquid items. For example, I'm taking oil, milk, I mean, oil, water, milk, and honey. There's layers. I have glass. You can see the top. I have glass oil and water, milk, and honey. And do you know why? Honey is in the bottom and oil is in top because honey is more dense than the oil, but oil is lesser dense than the honey. Now I have to test your brain. Do you know why milk and Water is in middle. Any guesses? Okay. Milk is lesser dense than the honey and more dense than water and the oil. Similar to that, we have Solid items. I have a cock and a metal and a little coin. When I put this metal coin in the water, it sinks because it is more dense than the water. If I put this cock in the water, Wait, it floats because cock is lesser dense than the water. That's why milk is more dense than the water. I mean, it's sinking and cock is floating. Now, let's talk about buoyant force. What is buoyant force? When I put an object in the water, it floats because gravity is pulling down. At the same time, water have an ability named buoyant force that lifts up. That's why this plastic ball floats. How buoyant force can lift? It's um, how the object is. Buoyant force is working depending upon the density of the object. If it is more dense than the water, gravity will be high and buoyant force will be low. It's like winning and losing in a race. Now gravity wins, but if the object is lesser dense than the water, buoyant force will be high and gravity will be low. Then buoyant force will be high.
then you'll win the race. Like more dance is support to grab D and less dance is support to the buoyant force. Now I have two objects made of a, made of iron. Let's see how it reacts to the buoyant force. When I put this nail, it sinks. It is correct because we know that steel is higher dense than the water. That's why it's sink sinking. Let's see what happens when I put the Wait, wait. How it floats. But these two are made of iron, right? Because this vessel have enough space to carry air in it. And that little nail don't have space to carry air. It is lesser dense than the water when it is filled with air. In case, when I pour some water in it, let's see what uh, how it reacts to the buoyant force. I have it filled with water. Let's put it. Wait, it is sinking. Because uh, air, uh, do you know the comparison? Water is more dense or air is more dense? All of you will say water. It is correct. When I pour water in the vessel, air will get out and it will fill with water. Then it will be more dense than the water. Then gravity wins the race. And it sinks. That's why I made it to sink. Like this. Now, the screws has a hole in it. You can see. How it reacts to the buoyant force. Let's see. See, it's sinking. It is sinking, see, you can see. Because when the water gets in, the buoyant force will be low than the gravity. Then the, it sinks, the sport sinks. I had made a working model of a motor boat. When I switch on the plopper, Propeller starts to spin. See, it is moving. How it moves? The fan pushes the air and the boat moves. Then how it floats? This material is lesser dense than the water. That's why it is floating on the water. Hope you understood density and buoyancy effect.